Hello, I'm Lucinda. Today I'm setting up my studio to do some jelly printing. I'm doing my homework from Julie Fafan Balser's course, A Year of Jelly Printing, and we're practicing using found objects. I'm setting up my workspace with an 8x10 jelly plate, which I'm removing from its packaging, and setting up on a white piece of paper on my studio workbench. I also have a brayer and some paper of various kinds, uh, printer paper and uh, cardstock and deli paper. I'm also using up some old acrylic paints. Uh, there are two yellows and two blues, some of them as old as 12 years old. I just want to get rid of this and see if I like these colors to order replacements. I'm rolling out the paint with a brayer in a thin layer. Then I use materials from the recycling bin such as packaging materials, cardboard, plastic strips, toilet paper tubes, egg cartons, whatever I have handy to make different kinds of texture. Put them on the plate and put down the paper and pull a print. Then once that's done, I may be able to uh, remove the texture materials and pull a second print if uh, called a ghost if there's enough paint left. After the prints have dried, I will go back and print a second or third layer in a different color to blend colors and add depth to the image. This print starts with a plate that has yellow paint dried on it. I'm using a plastic bottle with rubber bands to make the texture, just rolling it over the wet paint. And then once I print the piece, you can see that it pulls up the yellow paint along with the blue paint to give extra texture. So you don't have to clean your plate between prints because the remaining paint adds to the texture. When I finish printing, I clean up my space and leave the prints drying all over the floor of my studio. If you'd like to see more of my work, visit my website at www.lucindahow.com. Thanks for watching.